Now we will talk about de Moivre's theorem. We have learned that we can convert complex number to a polar form. Now we are going to work with the formula developed by French mathematician Abraham de Moivre, which is very instrumental working with products, questions, powers and roots of complex number in much simple form. On your screen you can see that the statement of de Moivre's theorem which states that for any complex number z in the polar form r cos theta plus i sin theta raising it to the power of n is equal to r to the power n times the quantity cos n theta plus i sin n theta. It allows us to understand the rotation and scaling effect when raising a complex number to a power n where n is a natural number. For the proof we will follow the mathematical induction method. Let us start with the case 1 where n equals to 1. Then the given complex number z can be written in the form z to the power 1 equals to r to the power 1 cos 1 times theta plus i sin 1 times theta which ensures that z to the power n equals to r to the power n cos n theta plus i sin n theta when n equal to 1. Now we start by case 2 in which z to the power 2 equals to r to the power 2 cos 2 theta plus i sin 2 theta. This we have already proved in the polar form. So when n is equal to 2 the theorem holds. Now we start the case 3 the hypothesis step in which we suppose that this theorem is true for n is equal to k means z to the power k equals to r to the power k cos k theta plus i sin k theta. Now we will prove the inductive step this is case 4 and we assume that n is equal to k plus 1 then z to the power k plus 1 equals to z to the power k times z. Since z to the power k is already proved in the hypothesis step we multiply it by ordinary multiplication we will get that r to the power k plus 1 times the quantity cos k theta plus theta plus i sin the quantity k theta plus theta. Taking theta as a common in the quantity of arguments we conclude that z to the power n is equal to r to the power n cos n theta plus i sin n theta when n is equal to k plus 1. Therefore for any n the z to the power n equals to r to the power n cos n theta plus i sin n theta is valid, we conclude the proof of de Moivre's theorem. There are many advantages of de Moivre's theorem. Among them, we will see that how it helps to multiply here 1 plus i is a complex number which has magnitude root 2 and argument pi by 4. Means the distance from the origin to the complex number is root 2 and the angle made by the complex number with x axis is pi by 4. Taking r equal to root 2 and theta equal to pi by 4, we can multiply the complex number 1 plus i to the power 6. We can find the result of complex number 1 plus i to the power 6 using de Moivre's theorem, which tells that the answer is root 2 to the power 6 times cos pi by 4 times 6 plus i sin pi by 4 times 6. With a basic calculation, we get the result minus 8i.